Stephen Baldwin recently did a video response towards me, and whenever he did so, I have to admit, I was a bit surprised. I was shocked that a movie star or a ex-celebrity would actually respond to a guy like me on YouTube. If um, anybody's going to respond to anybody, um, I would expect that it would be towards someone bigger, someone who gets more views and all that kind of shit than myself. So I was a bit shocked that any movie star would take the time out of their busy schedule to do this. But as most of you know, Mr. Baldwin <coughs> actually um, went on this big-ass uh, tirade in his video. He was very nice and respectful about it. Some of his comments offended a few people. It didn't offend me whatsoever, but there was some things that he said that was a little strange and unusual. Like, for instance, um, twice he mentioned that Jesus is returning soon. <clears throat> Jesus is returning soon. Well, since that video response he's done to me, I went to his website. I also found another YouTube channel by him. I've also looked through Netflix. My wife and I, we like to watch movies to check out some of the other movies that he's done. Found out that he did a movie called Biodome with Polly Shore. Found out that he has starred in quite a few different things. Um, one that was a bit surprising that I don't think Christians would approve of. They'd probably be more up for the suspect movie that he did with all the killing and destroying and criminal behavior as opposed to the one I'm about to tell you about. He starred in a movie called Threesome <clears throat> in which there uh, apparently there were two men, one woman, who did exactly as the title suggests. <laughs> <clears throat> That's something that Reverend Phelps would have probably fell over and had a fucking stroke from if he watched that particular one. But it was a movie, so what can you do? Now, you you sat there and you said, Jesus is coming twice, and he's coming soon. You know, I've also heard that same shit from guys like Benny Hinn. I don't know if you uh, have had the chance to watch some of the clips of Benny Hinn, Mr. Baldwin, on, on uh, YouTube. There's tons and tons of preachers who stand there with buckets, collecting money and pushing people over and shit and <sighs> blowing in their face and doing all this shit, claiming that they're healing people from cancer and all kinds of shit while at the same time screaming Jesus is coming soon and collecting everybody's money. And there's no real difference because I looked over at your website and you have some kind of Baldwin restoration thing going. Now, if you would have had on your website that you would like some donations or you want some support because you're having a hard time, hell, I'd probably have um, sent you some money. But you now you're playing this part of a fundamentalist, fanatical Christian, and I'm not sure if I'm convinced that you're the real deal I think that you're a lot like Kirk Cameron where he basically did a bunch of TV shows like Growing Pains and at first he was successful, he was popular, he was a heartthrob and then one day people said we don't really give a fuck about Kirk Cameron anymore and so Kirk Cameron decided to start fucking getting into Christian TV and starring in Christian movies. I wouldn't be surprised if one day I wake up and I find out that you're in a Left Behind Part 10 movie, um, Mr. Baldwin. But you keep saying Jesus is coming. If he's coming, then why the fuck are you asking for money for? Why are you asking for help? Shouldn't you be sitting like in a prayer closet or something, or in a fucking bunker going, Jesus, I've tried the best I can, you're on your way, instead of collecting money. Because collecting money means that you think that there's a future. It means that you want to be able to be financially stable for as long as you can be. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be financially stable, but pretending to be a fanatical Christian, oh, it's just the way it is. 
if any of you out there wanted help and shit like that and you made a YouTube video saying, look, I'm fucking hurt and I've got problems or issues, I'm sure that there's kind and compassionate people out there that help you out. But if you pretend to be some fucking goofball who's standing in front of Waffle House saying the end of the world's coming, then people are going to go, what the fuck? <clears throat> but I understand, too, um, from a celebrity's point of view, how it can be very effective if you pretend to be some kind of uh, fundamentalist who wants to stand in front of an assembly or churches and... You know, oh, Jesus, you changed my life. I used to do crack cocaine and everything else. And, you know, I used to beat people up and set houses on fire and all kinds of crazy shit. I mean, that's an extraordinary testimony. Christians love it. The worse the fucking story, the more exciting it gets. I think that's one of the reasons why religious folks uh, like the Bible, because there's so much murder and killing and destruction in it. But another thing, too, after watching some of your clips about how you feel about the Bible and your belief system and everything, I don't think that you've actually ever even read the Bible. You know? I was already convinced right away that you don't really have a good grasp on science, but then watching you actually attempting to read the Bible made me think, geez, this guy, he hasn't even read it. He doesn't even care about the fucking book. Is that the way it is, Mr. Baldwin? Are you just playing another part? Are you acting? Is that what you're doing? Is this a, a big act? Because if you want some views, Mr. Baldwin, if you're wanting, wanting people to help you out and shit, all you got to do is ask. You don't have to... You know, fucking strut around and play the role of some fucking, you know, slow-talking, fanatical fundamentalist. Just like Kirk Cameron, he doesn't need to sit here and act like a goddamn fool and shit for some audience in order to collect money. You don't have to. Which could do... One of the things that you could do if you're if you're hard up for some income and shit like that is you can make some videos. Kirk Cameron, he could make some videos and talk to people and all that. And I'm sure it wouldn't take long for him or yourself or help. If you were to get <coughs> Alec Baldwin to fucking star in some of your videos and stuff like that, I guarantee you could have thousands, millions of subscribers in a matter of moments, being that you're a celebrity. So... That's the way to do it. <clears throat> I know if Kevin Spacey came towards me and he said, Hey, man, I need some help, man. I fucking lost my house. I lost my shit. I'd be like, well, come on in, Kevin Spacey. And if Robert De Niro was right behind him, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci, and a bunch of other actors that I like had some problems and shit, I'd be fucking making up a lot of beds for people. <laughs> and they wouldn't have to act like a goddamn religious retard either in order to get my help. All right, ladies and gentlemen, peace out.